Dear Romney, It seems everyone's forgotten how to write a letter these days. Smacking my thumbs against my phone didn't quite feel like the right way to go about doing this. Yet, I do realise that my handwriting looks like an infant's attempt to grasp the concept of a pen. Helping yourself so generously to my homework throughout high school has made you fluent in my scribble, so I know you'll be able to read it just fine. Putting pen to paper does take longer, but it's okay. It seems time is the one thing I feel I have enough of lately. It's strange to think that after all these years of learning to appreciate your annoying charms, you're leaving. Amongst the inconsistent outcomes of the formulas and theorems in my life, your eccentricities have always been the constant, like gravity or McDonald's. I've come to understand and respect that no quantifiable explanation exists that will ever do justice to how much your friendship means to me. That being said, your departure will introduce a new constant, the fear of living with regret. It is this fear that has driven me to share something with you. A truth I purposefully withheld, buried by conflicted choices, each with their own spectacular and dreaded outcomes. I imagine that's partly why I reacted to your news like a selfish blunderbuss. I am immensely proud of you, and opportunities like this are only given to the deserving. And because my actions were misrepresentative of my feelings, I'm so sorry for the way I acted. I've prepared myself for whichever outcome I need to face be it dreaded or not. Roms. I have always known that I love you. And I always will, till the end of our perceivable understanding of time and space. It's important for you to know that I don't wish or expect anything to materialize from this letter. I just hope that whatever you do, you do what you value spending your time with. Because time is a gift. 
and no gift should ever be wasted. Yours forever. Emmett. <laughs>